welcome to another episode of Southern Guns. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you liked that video, that little intro. That was kind of fun. If you grew up on the greatest cartoon of all time, smash that button for me. Let's jump into this video. So today's video is on this new optic I just got, Primary Arms SLX 3 Power Prism. Let's go ahead and make sure that is safe. No magazine. No rounds in the chamber, gun is still on safe. All right, taking a look at this thing. This thing is an extremely small. I know there's a lot of videos. This is just my initial impressions of the rifle. Or I'm sorry, initial impressions of the optic. If you look, you can see that it is on, I guess, like a, a reverse cantilever. It's kind of, it looks like it's raised a little high. Actually, I really like the height of it. Uh, it comes with a lot of different options, mounting options. And that was actually something else, the mounting options are set up with a ACOG footprint. Coincidentally, this has got a lot of ACOG features on it, and I'm about to turn around and jump into that. So the, the ACOG features on this optic, um, and I'm not saying this is gonna be beating out the ACOG at all. This is nowhere near an ACOG level. ACOG is extremely durable. Is this as durable? Who knows? Is it durable enough for me? Yes. So this has a ACOG mounting footprint, so I can change out the mount on the bottom for uh, whatever type of ACOG quick release or whatever you want. It also has, uh, if you look here, this little feature here can be replaced with different heights, or however you want to mount it. It comes with multiple different features. As for shooting it, you can shoot this with both eyes open. It has a uh, red illumination. I'm sure a lot of other videos have it and I can actually still see just fine with this. So right now I I'm totally good with what I'm seeing. I have complete sight picture through the optic and also through my peripheral vision, so I don't lose anything. How does it shoot on the range? That's actually really interesting. On the range, um, I actually zeroed this at 25 yards, gave a rough zero. And so I went to the CMP, to the unknown, um, unknown range, and I found the 100 yard target. And so I said, well, let's just see what I hit at 100 yards. And I saw I hit the 100 yards. So I use the BDC reticle on the inside of the AC, ACSS Raptor reticle on the inside of it and started basically using that drop reticle and started hitting targets all the way out to, I think about right about 350 yards. So I'm pretty sure I was at the limits of what the capabilities of a 10 and a half inch can do. Check it out. Initial impressions are always the most important. Your first impressions are the most important. So what's my first impressions with this optic? So far, I really like it. I wanted an ACOG. I'm not gonna lie, I can't justify the price of a new ACOG or even a used ACOG for 20 year old technology. I'm not saying the ACOGs are bad, don't tell you that. I would love to have an ACOG. I can't justify the price for something that is over 20 years old. Whereas I can justify a $300 optic that works for the level that I'm shooting, which is I don't shoot as much as I used to, I can justify this. It's extremely light, small, compact, and it is unobtrusive in the way of, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate on the rifle itself. The um, optic itself is easy to see. Now you do see that there is a bit, if you wanna get a complete full uh, sight picture, you're gonna have to get real close on the optic. The downside, that's, that's about the biggest downside I can see. I can come back where I normally am and I can still see just fine. Now I'm not saying that that is a bad point or a selling point for this gun. I'm just, I'm sorry, for this optic, I'm just saying that is a, something that you need to be observant of. Final thoughts. Would I buy this again? 100%. 
using a rough zero of 25 yards, I went out to 350 yards and consistently engaged targets. Shooting up close in a semi CQB environment, I can easily use this as a CQB optic. Is it the best optic? No. Is there better options? Yes. But is this a option? 100%. Is this an option that I feel comfortable using again? Or what I would buy again? 1 million percent. This is like I said, a initial um, impressions video. I'll follow up and I'll do some more. As a matter of fact, I'm actually gonna be going to Legion Running Gun in about two weeks. We'll do a follow up video and see what my thoughts are after running against some of the baddest mofos on the entire planet, the 5th Special Forces Group. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, smash that like and subscribe button. And don't forget, final thoughts, watch G.I. Joe. It's the greatest cartoon ever made. It's just, it, it's just, whoa. Like I could watch it every day, ever. All right, I have nothing else. Later.